breaking news. I think. You see, since I've been out, I haven't really had a chance to communicate with my group about the plot of this video, so I don't really know what's happening. So I'm just going to share some of the research that I've gathered with you. Wait, so like, I, I don't have to be here? Yep, you can go, I guess. Yes, I hate this truck. It's so stupid. Ugh. Yes, guys, now we get to talk about tsunamis. So my research question was, how will people recover from the 2023 Tokyo tsunami? However, to really know how people will recover from this upcoming tsunami, we must examine the intensity scale upon which it is ranked. Take the 2011 Tohoku tsunami, for example. The earthquake that caused the tsunami had a magnitude of 9.0, meaning this wasn't just a standard type of earthquake that you would experience on a daily basis. In fact, earthquakes with a 2.5 or less magnitude occur on almost a daily basis. However, the larger ones, meaning magnitudes of 8.0 or higher, only occur once or twice a year. Coming off of such a high rank to earthquake, the 2011 Tohoku tsunami struck powerfully and quickly. You could say, we didn't see it coming. You know, I'm getting kind of bored of this scenery. Since we're talking about tsunamis, maybe I should have something better than this. Let's see what we can do. That's better. The hat is a bit much though, I kinda like the old one better. That's, that's much better. The tallest waves of the tsunami reached up to 40 meters tall. That's 130 feet, or 13 stories. It's easy to see how this tragic event caused almost 20,000 deaths. Over 120,000 structures and buildings were destroyed. 2.5 100,000 were half destroyed, and over 700,000 other buildings were damaged. There are about 40,000 people that lost their homes, and to this day, still around 1,000 of them are living in temporary housing. The C 